DJB. Welcome. Welcome back. Photocritic TV, episode 30. Welcome back, everybody. Aaron, how's everything going? You well? Yep. It's been a while. Sorry, guys. Um, I've actually I've, I've been a bit busy. I'm writing a course in Adobe Lightroom, so apologies um, for that, but we're back on track. Episode 30. And if you don't know, you want your photograph critique, just go to the website, photocritictv.com, click or click to submit, and that's it. Submit your photograph. I'll have a look at it on camera, online, give you a critique. If you want to have a look at my portfolio, djbworldphotography.com. That's why you might care what I think. I don't know. You may not care. Now look, Aaron, something's happened. Mm -hmm. Something kind of extreme. An extreme, uh, extreme situation. It's, it's gone down in the photocritic TV world. Yeah. Okay. You, yeah. Oh, I'll tell yeah. you what happened. Give it to me. Right, this is what happened. So I'm on YouTube the other day, right? You listening? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, all ears. <laughs> I'm on YouTube and uh, someone wrote a comment. I couldn't believe this. Could not believe it. I didn't like my hat. The uh, but they actually said, somebody actually had the nerve <laughs> to say to me, not to say to me, or to say, you know, on the YouTube comments, I didn't, as soon as I saw your ridiculous hat, I stopped watching. <laughs> He's only saying what we're all thinking. <laughs> I know, the point is, we know. The hat's ridiculous. So, this is what I'm going to do. This episode, see that? No hat. The reason we have the hat, if, because, see that? Bald, going bald. So, you've got a choice, alright? I'm going to put a little, one of those poll things on Facebook. You can either look at my balding head without a hat. I can put the ridiculous hat back on. Wait, oh. where are we? Okay, that's option three. Or I can wear a wig. I'll do it. We can find wigs. We got wigs. I'll wear a wig. So, no hat. Show me the bald head. That's option one. Option two is put the ridiculous hat on. We like the hat. Option three is just put a wig on. What do you reckon about that? Wig. <laughs> you love the wig. We got one for the wig, and that vote's going out to Aaron. But my vote's worth ten. No. It's worth a zero. <laughs> so, if you don't know already, uh, photo critiques and dedications. Aaron, who's this gone out to this episode 30? The big three zero, so it's better be somebody important. Yeah. Uh, Chris, the man, Wolfsnip. Worship, Wolfsnip, whatever. Well, oh my goodness, Chris, if you're watching this, I know exactly who you are because you've been on a fair few photography walks around Melbourne. This one's going out to you, mate. Chris Wolfsnip. Mm. Yep. Okay, sweet. What? Tag me in. No, that's only on... That's for, I don't tag you in yet. Don't get excited. You've got to wait till your OTV. Oh, God, this guy's... It's been too long. I'm, I'm ready to go. Right, <laughs> exactly. right here, right now. He's out of practice. Let's get into it. Episode 30. Sorry, guys, for the yapping. We're going to... We should probably... In doing this, we're yapping on more, but do you think we should stop yapping on in future episodes and just get straight to the critiques? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> First one, Rose Laurier. She's from... Chicago, Illinois, US and A. Windy City. The Windy City, yep. And uh, this is a Canon Power shot taken at Disneyland, Anaheim, Cali, Born IA. Let's go to the first one from Rose. Really nice shot. Thanks, Rose. Um, this one, composition's great. The, the reflection's really nice here. There's a couple of things that I would say um, that. Firstly, what I like is actually, you, this time you've placed the horizon in the centre of the photograph and it actually works, I think, in this case because we have some symmetry between the sky and the reflection in the water, so that kind of works. Normally we don't want to place the horizon in the centre because it just doesn't look very pleasing to the eye. This time, I'm happy with it. I think it works. Um, so, no problems there. The, the composition's good. It's, it's nice and simple. We can, we can tell the subject is the, the ferry in the back of there. There's no real distractions around. It's just a nice, pleasant, simple image. The only thing I'd say is this, the time of day. So the light is white and hot. I always go on about this, but if you are taking this photograph either earlier in the morning or at dusk when the sun's going down, it probably would have looked nicer because you, you can see there that the clouds, especially they're a little bit blown out, like a little bit white, like over white. So, that's the only thing I think with that one, Rose, but thanks. I think that's about it. 
for that photograph. Let's go to the second one. Really nice. I like this. It's kind of very um, nice orange pastel -y colors. The colors all seem to kind of work really, really well together, I think. Um, it is quite busy, this photograph, I think. Um, but I... I do like it. I think what I would have tried to do is actually kind of try to simplify the message of this photograph down to one message. So here, if you look on the side, you've got our favourite bear, cheers for poo, and then happy birthday poo, something like that, all these different little signs. Like, it would have been nice just to kind of have one message, rather than so many of them. Um, also, there's just like a little hot spot on the top of the, the poo bear is kind of facing us. It's really kind of bright and hot, so that, and also kind of just diagonally left there's also another kind of overwide hotspot there, so to do that you could have just um, just used, I think on the power shot you don't have full manual control, but you could have used the exposure compensation to kind of make that a little bit darker. So simplify, think about the light a little bit, you don't really have much choice obviously because you're using just the ambient light or the, the candescent fluorescent lights, whatever they are in there, so nice one. Let's go to the third photograph. And O T V on photograph three. Do you know yeah. what that is? No, no, take me. Okay. Oh yeah. Aaron doesn't wait. <laughs> Let me just explain what happens here. Every episode, photograph three, we go O T B on photograph three with Aaron. Aaron's a guy behind the camera who's um, really probably got the most the most weight in terms of like your photography, where the tread hits the tarmac. This is where you. I don't here. know what. You, what are you talking about? I'm talking about. I don't. Do Tread I, tarmac. I'm saying. I'm trying to use an analogy. I'm trying to say that. I'm not following. I don't think they will either. Okay. All I'm trying to say is. My opinion is more important than yours. <laughs> That's actually what I was trying to say, you idiot. <laughs> Why don't you just say that? This is where it gets real. Okay, Rose. Here we go. OTB photograph three. Now we're going to take you in. Yep. Ready. Take it, take the pad, you've got seven seconds. We're only giving him seven seconds, Aaron, he's got the pad right now. Seven seconds, wait, OTB photograph oh, three. Oh wait, what? The, the pad's locked up, you need to put a key password thing in. Oh, key no, key. you just slide open. That's what, that's how you do it. There's no password on that. Thing. I don't have a pad, I don't know how to work does, the pad. It's not how to work the pad. He normally, he stays away from the pad. I give it to him once every episode. He's got no idea. Quiet. He's got no idea. No idea. You ready? Yeah. What is it? What's your comment? My comment? I think I see a ghost. You, you think you see a ghost? Yeah. Where about? In the picture. Yeah, where? In the picture? In there! I can't see any ghost. You're not looking hard enough. <laughs> it's there. I see it. I can't see it. I can't see a ghost. Where? You show me. That's because, my opinion, I. I'm much better at this than you are. <laughs> You're not answering the question. <laughs> it's there. It's as plain as day. Or not. In the... <laughs> All right. So, this is what I'm going to do. I always try and kind of interpret what that guy says. That guy, Aaron. Mm. Um, so, what? I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so Rose. I think I'll see you goes. Aaron saying, yep, yeah, it's scary. He's a bit scared. He's probably gonna have a nightmare tonight. Yep. Yeah. Will you hold me? Yep. Yeah. For five minutes. <laughs> what are we talking oh, about? I was joking. <laughs> Look, I'm there for you. Alright, so, Rose, the thing with this one is, um, like I always say, I w is there a reason you went to black and white? because sometimes, I always like to know what the original one looked like because normally when we go to black and white we're trying to eliminate distractions. Um, and when I say distractions I mean like distracting colours. So it would have been interesting to see what the black and white version looks like. Um, so this photograph, I feel like actually it's a nice little scene it's, and it's kind of scary but I would have actually... You, you're staring at me. Stop staring. <laughs> I'm watching, it's my job. He's making me nervous. As Stop. producer, director, <laughs> and hair and makeup artist. It's Don't, you st you're making me, just look, look over there. Look at the photograph on, on the wall. Yep. 
Okay, now we'll get back to it. So I would have stepped back. <laughs> I, would have, I would have stepped back so we can see a little bit more of this scene because on the left hand side there, it kind of, it's a little bit cut off. That that <laughs> that kind of water fountain thing. So it's not a water fountain, whatever it is, that little statue thing there, it's kind of cut off and it makes me want to see the rest of it. So maybe I want to step back just to include a little bit more and to kind of complete the scene. Also maybe little brighten bits and pieces of this up. There's a little doll kind of sitting on the on the couch there. That looks really cool. And I think maybe if, if that was a little bit more obvious then, because it's kind of quite hidden at the moment. So cool scene. Um, Maybe would have brightened it up a little bit, and also white is used black and white. Okay, let's go to the final entrant. James O'Rourke, welcome, James. Never had you on board before. Um, welcome. What's, yep, Aaron says welcome, hello, and next episode for you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, there you go. He's going to dedicate one to a. If you like this page, so I think that's how it works, isn't it? You have to go. Yeah. This, yep. Yep. So you gotta go. You gotta go to. He actually has a Facebook page, and go there, like it, and if you do that, he'll dedicate one to you. And also, he gives away free life advice, and it's good advice. I, I ask him all the time, like off camera, just get some advice just about life. You ask me every episode. Every Not only that. Three. Yeah. We ask each other. Well, we ask each other. Clearly, you give me the most difficult one every week because you know. You, you yeah, know I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. So I ask him. Let's, what the hell are we talking about? Okay, James, James O'Rourke, welcome. James is from Hereford, I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, he's in the UK. And Sony Alpha, they're the digital SLRs from Sony, that's what that's what James is using. And let's see, lead the and something else is hidden in the photo. Cool, so to, I'm trying to create some curiosity. Okay, cool, let's open it up, have a look. So, James. Nice photograph, this first one of yours. I do like it. Um, I really can't think of, I mean, I like the photograph, and I can't think of anything really that uh, you can improve on. I mean, I can I can always go back to the lighting and kind of say to you, I think maybe a little bit, again, it's kind of the middle of the day, and the, the light is quite white and hot in this photograph. But I do like that sense of curiosity, like you were saying, that you have created there, because we can all see that all these people are looking into the right-hand corner of the screen. So as the viewer, when I look at this photograph, I'm following all of these people's eyes. And yeah, it does. It makes me wonder what on earth they're all looking at. What are they looking at? I don't know. Can we tell you? Yeah. Mm. Aaron's going to have a go. What do you think they're looking at? Actually, James, yeah. Let me know. If you know what they're looking at, write a comment about it. I, I need to know. Sometimes I get out. Just have to know. Hey, Ron? Someone stepped in dog poo. And... Someone stepped in dog poo. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all trying to get it off his shoe. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. You're an idiot. So, <laughs> James, cool shot. Um, I, just looking at the wall, is that actually straight? To me, it looks like the left-hand side of that wall is actually higher than the right-hand side. So I think, in this case, this is the strongest horizontal line as opposed to the horizon. Because the horizon, actually, you can't really see here. So I probably would have straightened up, straightened this photograph according to that wall as opposed to the horizon. That's about it. Um, I'll go to your last one, your second photograph, and it's the last photograph for episode 30. Really cool one. Really nice uh, shot there, James. I, I like these sort of photographs where it's just like simplicity of lines and the simplicity of the shapes. Like just a really simple photograph. And that's what I like. And I think, I don't know what the original one, the, the original colour version actually looked like, but the black and white works well here because the wall is pretty much all one colour. Well, it's like greys and blacks. But the actual subject, the people, they're wearing a white top, so that makes them stick out and that draws the viewer's eye to them straight away. So that's really good. And also, you've obviously, excuse me, you've obviously waited until those people have walked in front of the black door to kind of add a little bit more contrast. So that that's that shows that you're actually thinking about the composition while you're taking the photograph. So nice one. This is my small niggling thing I have with this photograph. The very top of that lady's toe. It's cut off. Off the screen. 
No, that's the only thing. But that, you know, that's a we, major. We don't like to amputate around here. We don't. Yeah, amputations aren't good, especially when it's a, pit, a little, a little toe. Ouch. Little piggy went all the way home. <laughs> little piggy's gone all the way home. Anyway, uh, great shot, James. Thanks, Rose. Thanks, James. That is it for episode number thirty. I'll catch you next time.